A disturbing story of abuse tonight in San Francisco. It involves a landlord who tenants say terrorizes them day and night. The apartment building is on Fulton Street, not far from Golden Gate Park. That's where he was arrested yesterday, accused of breaking into one of his tenants' units. Our Vic Lee is in the newsroom with the story you'll see only on ABC 7 News. Vic. Well, Carolyn, the landlord, Norman Sable, was arrested and charged with trespassing, resisting arrest, and battery on a police officer who broke his knee in the scuffle and ended up in the hospital. Tenants and their lawyers tell us problems with this landlord have gone on for years. A tenant took these videos of landlord Norman Sable on two separate occasions. This was shot when Sable was about to hose down a common area of the apartment house. It's the common area. You need to know this. You need a 24-hour notice. You and your notice. Get out of my It's a 24-hour notice. That's Get out of my face. After Sable takes a swing at the tenant, he charges after him. Buddy. I'm going to ruin your face right now. You're going to in this video, the tenant's lawyer says Sable is fighting with someone about the lack of heat. What's going on? Shut up, Joel. Turn on the heat! Please, there's a young... Her, Joel, please. Maya, it's okay. You're out of control! Sable owns this 24-unit apartment building on Fulton Street near Golden Gate Park. Lawyers representing several tenants say half of the units are empty. Steve McDonald represents two former tenants and one who's trying to leave. All are suing Sable. He just enjoys dominating and harassing the tenants until they're begging, please give us heat, please keep these people out of the building, why are you doing this? Yesterday, tensions came to a head. Tenant Nico Bravo secretly recorded Sable cussing at him as he tried to kick down the door of his apartment. Police arrested him after they say he broke down the door and rushed into Bravo's apartment. I'm on the phone with 911. He gets in and starts thrashing the place, and I run to the kitchen. There's nowhere else to go. Police arrived. Lieutenant Mike Kaplan says Sable struggled with the officer who tried to arrest him. When the officer and the suspect went down, the officer injured his leg and ended up having to go to the hospital. Chris Dolan is Bravo's attorney. He's been sued for breaking down the door, failing to provide heat, failing to provide water. He's actively being sued and he just continues to explode. Lieutenant Kaplan says they've received numerous calls in the past complaining about the apartment. Suspicious people hanging around, uh, noise complaints, that kind of drugs. drugs. Oh, uh, the, I guess the neighborhood's a little uh, getting impatient with that building. We asked Sable for an interview. He declined. Now, the tenant, Nico Bravo, and his family were getting ready to move out when we left the building this afternoon. His lawyer had requested an officer from Park Station to stand by just to make sure there'd be no trouble. At least one of the lawyers we spoke with said... He's planning to take this case to the DA. Vickley, ABC 7 News. Oh, Vick, thank you.